hands. He can be Trey. Okay. I can be Trey. <laughs> okay. Welcome to DNA Connect. My name is Roberta Ginsberg. I'm the director. And I'm going to d demonstrate to you today how to do a sample collection. Mouth swab, buckle swab, sample collection. So this is Monica, and this is her son Trey. And we're going to uh, collect samples from both of them. So the first thing I would like to ask you, Monica, and thanks for being here today. Okay, no problem. Is, do you have photo ID? I sure do. Oh, good, great, thank you. Now I'm going to make a copy of the photo ID that's important for legal purposes for identity. Take a photograph. Monica and Trey. Mom. And so if you could, uh, Trey, go sit with Mommy for a minute because I want to take your photo, okay? Okay. All righty. All right, here we go. Okay, Mommy and Trey. Now, big smile, everybody. Look at me. Great. Perfect. <laughs> We're going to develop the photo for a Can minute or so, and then I'm going to ask Monica to sign uh, as the guardian, and uh, yes. I'll print her name and Trey's name and birth date on the photo. Before I collect the mouth swab samples, I'm going to either wash my hands or I will use a handy wipe, which I have right here, and I'll wash my hands with the handy wipe. Okay. Now for our sample collection, I wear clean gloves. Uh, they're powder-free, latex-free gloves. What? Yep. And I'm going to take your mommy's mouth swabs. So I'm going to open this envelope. This is color-coded pink. It says mother's name on it. And here are the mouth swabs. These are sterile mouth swabs. They're dated. You can see the date when they expire. It tells you to peel at the end, which is the end of the stick. You do never want to peel at the, at the uh, end where the cotton is. These are cotton, and they're pink sticks to match the envelope. So that samples cannot get switched very easily when you have color coded. Can I ask you to open your mouth a little bit? Thank you. Now I put the swab inside of Monica's mouth and I am going to, I am scraping the skin cells from the moist uh, skin inside of her cheek. I'm going up and down and I'm twirling it. Okay? And I'm doing that 15 to 20 times. And then I place this into the envelope. Now, the Hello. next sample will be collected on tray. T-R-E. E. Is there an accent? Yes. Over the E? Yes. Trey. Okay. And what is Trey's last name? Andrews. Andrews. And what is Trey's birth date? 7 11 05. Okay. Now I'm going to make sure that the paperwork is filled out. Mm -hmm. Trey. And his birth date. 7 Okay. And this is a male. Mm -hmm. That's important for the child. We don't ask the race for the child until the father is ascertained. So um, we don't always have to have... Now Trey has not had a blood transfusion or blood stem cell transplant. Yeah. And we do not have to have... Uh, social security a number on children or um, ID. It's helpful if, if there is ID, but it's not photo ID, so we don't need it. I'm going to sign that I collected your samples, um, Monica. And now I'll be collecting tray samples. And I'm going to read on a new pair of gloves. And you getting ready? Yeah. Okay, look how good he is. He's waiting. Do the same thing to you I did to Mommy? Yes. Okay. You going to let me know if it tickles? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, I fan the envelope. This is yellow for a child, and it says child's name. Again, I look at the date to make sure it's not expired. I peel at the end so that I know it's sterile and I'm not going to touch this swab. Can you open your mouth? Oh, look at that. Wow, how great. How great. 
terrific. Look at him. Look at Trey. Wow, this is good work. Good work. Okay, great. That was one. I seal that, and then I show it to Trey's mom. Is that correct? Yeah. Great. And then I ask you to initial this. And I can take the gloves off, turn them inside out, and discard them. Thank you very much. So, there you are, the sample collection.